Hey everybody, welcome to today's edition of EFT Tapping. We're gonna work on cravings and compulsions today. And I just realized I left my caramels over there, so let's run the show reel. Ah, you can't wiggle too much. <laughs> okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna grab, if you've got it next to you, the food or the thing that you're worried about craving or that you eat consistently that you're hoping to try to stop. And so what I want you to do is I want you to get it. And what you're going to do is really focus on what about it do I really like? What about it do I want? So for example, right now I can say, I can start tapping and saying, even though I really want these dark chocolate sea salted caramels, the love's not in the food. And even though I really want these dark chocolate sea salted caramels, I don't need them right now. And even though I really want these dark chocolate sea salted caramels, I don't need them and I'm okay letting them go. And then you're just gonna say, these dark chocolate, chocolate sea salted caramels and just talk about everything that you want about them, right? Oh, they would taste so good in my mouth right now. I love the saltiness, I love the sweetness and I really, really want them. It'd be really nice if I could have them. That sweet, dark chocolate flavor with all of the salt on them. I want one right now. So this is basically what you're gonna do with your food. So you, when you're walking up to your cupboard and you're walking to your refrigerator and you're like, ooh, I really shouldn't eat that. Just start tapping on like, oh, I really want it right now and start noticing, A, the love isn't in the food. You don't need it right now, right? I can choose something healthier. Those can all be your acceptance statements. So once you've done that and your level of craving has gone down to a three or under, then what I'm actually going to have you do, is we're going to attempt it a little bit further to help prevent the cravings from coming back in the future. So you're actually going to take out a piece of that food. You can smell it. You could lick it. But notice what is it about it that you really want? So write that down. What is it about it? So the sugariest, the saltiness, the crunchiness, um, perhaps it reminds you of your grandmother. Perhaps it helps you feel connected. And what you're going to do then with that food is the same thing that we just did, naming all of the attributes about that food that you really want. So for example, for these caramels, I could say, so even though I really want this caramel right now, and it's sweet and it's salty and it makes me feel nurtured. I'm open to letting this go. And even though I really want this dark chocolate sea salted caramel, and it's so salty and it's so delicious, I accept I feel this way. And even though I really want the salty, sweet chocolate, it's so nurturing for me, I really love having it. I bet it would make me feel better. I'm okay that I feel this way. And then all the other points, you're just going to tap once more, all the things about your food, this saltiness, they're so creamy and delicious. And it makes me feel nurtured. It makes me feel like I'm doing something nice for myself. In fact, I deserve this because I had a hard day at work. Mm, and I love the way it smells. Mm this dark chocolate sea salted caramel. I really, really want to eat it right now. And now keep doing this with the food over and over again until it really doesn't feel like you want it anymore. And then you can keep testing yourself. You can test it by biting into it and then tap while you're biting into it. Oh my gosh, it tastes so delicious. Or, oh, it reminds me of my grandmother. Or, oh, it reminds me of whatever. And just keep tapping through the points, acknowledging all of the things that make you want this food. And then your last step, throw it away. And if that makes you go, oh, I don't want to throw it away. Why don't you want to throw it away? So what about it? So this is some of the deeper stuff. Maybe it's a waste of money. Maybe you think you'll want it later. Maybe, you know, there's uh, maybe hmm, there's all these reasons, right? Maybe you're afraid it's wasteful or you were taught 
that you shouldn't shouldn't throw food away, right? Because they're starving kids in China or whatever, whatever the message was that we got when we were younger. So play with this before, as the holidays are here and we start going to all the parties or the events, or you start getting tempted by foods that you like and use this as a tool to help prevent cravings when you're walking up to the cupboard or the refrigerator, to calm them down so you can make solid, pure choice and also ahead of time. So if you know you're going somewhere and you don't wanna drink alcohol or you don't wanna have that last dessert or you know that you're gonna be tempted to eat too much, tap on that before you go. I hope this is helpful for you. I actually have a, a compulsions and cravings class online that you can purchase as well. It's a four-step series and it's really amazing. We go through really, really, really in detail how to let go of these compulsions and cravings. So if so, you can continue letting go of them for as long as you want. Thanks so much for watching.